Uh, this is uh, day four of uh, Bookworm uh, Pub 64 boot camp series. Um, there is a uh, graphic interface where the uh, on the JWMR uh, desk where you can uh, change the uh, themes and so on. But I find this very complicated. So, and I'll show you how I do it. Uh, and this is uh, I find it much easier. So what we can do is just open up a genie again here. And then here is already a loaded uh, with a JWM RC tray. But what we want is within the uh, root uh, dot JWM folder, there is a, a, a J, uh, JWM RC theme file. So let me just uh, bring it up rocks, control space bar, uh, launches uh, synapse and uh, we'll click on minus key and then control H so within the uh, uh, dot, dot JWM folder there is a theme file so this is uh, what's loaded and this is uh, a main file that uh, uh, is broken into a major uh, a topic so we'll deal with the window styles first this sidebar so what we can do is just go ahead and go under view and then show unclick the show sidebar and then super and the left arrow will put it on the left side and then we'll go ahead and get the uh, rocks alt alt tab will uh, bring up the uh, background uh, to forward so here is and then let me just go back to the main uh, root control space uh, space bar LX terminal. We'll go ahead and bring the LX terminal in view here. So let's look at the uh, uh, window style first, and uh, we can look at the active first. So uh, well, the window style. So the, uh, there is a height of 22. So this height is 22 pixels and I usually uh, find uh, that uh, that's a little too uh, too much uh, so we set up genie yesterday uh, with a control s key will save all the changes so control s so he saved it changed, uh, we changed the uh, file so jwm uh, space dash restart and ampersand sign will reread the uh, uh, theme file so let's see what happens so we should see smaller height of this bar so now you can see that it is smaller indeed similarly you can change the uh, font size so this font size let's look at the active so right now the active foreground is white so that refers to the uh, white font color the background is this color so what you can do is take a uh, we can just left click and drag and then this is where the color chooser uh, palette becomes very useful and if you open it after you dragging, what it d will do is it tells you the color that's actu actually right here now. So let's say we don't want it. We want to change the color. So uh, we can change it to red. And then let's say we're going to take a look here and we're going to uh, select. It's changed it. So control S again, and then we want to uh, LX terminal, that JWM uh, dash, uh, restart. So then we're going to look at this color change. So now you can see that color has uh, changed to the uh, my preference, which is uh, so it really uh, p uh, red color brings it all out. So. Uh, outline uh, black I'm unsure it's uh, hard to see uh, so the uh, so I, and then that gives you an idea now this active is this uh, window the, the right now background is gray and 
so when you click on it, it changes so right now it's gray and white it's kind of hard to see but you can change it similarly so the font is white right now and then a background we can just drag it again here and then open up the color palette and you can see this is same color so that's how you can uh, uh, manually uh, change the window uh, style in this case so let's take a look at task list style so it refers to uh, this here so let me just is change the appearance so let me just go back and I had saved the previous tray in a b so we'll just go ahead and drag this over here now I I, I want to revert back to the uh, previous rather than uh, recently it changed uh, it changed and I don't want this change so what I done is go ahead and show the sidebar again so I'm just going to copy this because this is what I anticipated it may occur so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, override it in the file control A grab everything control V paste and then control S will save it again now hopefully it's going to revert back JWM restart yes so this is uh, back now so we're going to take a look at the uh, view again. We're going to sidebar. We don't want it. So we're going to take a look at the uh, theme file, which is here. So we're going to look at the task list style. Sans 10. Here, font. Font does not uh, refer to the uh, clock uh, uh, font. So there's no active font uh, here, so so it doesn't apply at this moment. So we're gonna again look at the active. So it refers to active, active, uh, active here. The in in this case, genie, and the other is inactive. So certainly, if you click on rocks now, this is active. So, but we're gonna go back. So right now on active uh, is black, which you can't see. Background is is uh, uh, gray again. We dragged it, and we're going to take a look at the palette, color palette. And for demonstration purposes, what we'll do is go ahead and check, change that again to the red color, and then select, and then. Control S again. So we're gonna read the uh, read the uh, changes. Up arrow. Now this should uh, be uh, red now. So now you can see that's how you change the color of the uh, uh, task li uh, list. So the background uh, that's inactive is uh, seems okay. So that's that. That's how you can. If you want to change it, you can certainly do the same with here. Now tray style is rest of it. So here. So sans sans 14 the trace style here may affect the uh, uh, the clock so let's just for uh, for 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 curiosity's sake let's make it twice and then we're gonna get control s again and then we're gonna go ahead and restart and you see that it becomes really large so it does control the clock so we're gonna make go back to 14 and then control s and then restart so now we're back
so background uh, here is the bar background so let's say we want to change the back bar background to a little darker gray so let's say let's let's go ahead and grab this here and then color palette and then let's say we want to this this color it may override the it may be hard to see as far as the clock I thought but let's go ahead and try it so now it's changed and we're gonna save the change and go to the LX terminal let me just clear and then up at arrow key and then it, the the bars color is gonna change so you can see okay so now we want to go back to the uh, test style and foreground we want to make this white so it may be uh, e the clock face may be easier to see control s again to save it and alt tab uh, lx terminal up arrow and restart so now uh, i like this so this is uh, a good a pager uh, has to do with uh, these uh, six virtual desktops. So outline, uh, I prefer white rather than black. So these are grid lines and so on. So let's just make it white, see what that looks like. And then let's uh, look at the active first. So right now active, uh, this is left side, left half of Genius, so that's active. Uh, for uh, let's just make that so that's the background active background we want to make that red color again so let's just select and then control s and then go to LX terminal and let's see what that looks like so there is a red color so and let's go to another uh, virtual screen so that's the background is really red so that's correct now we go back so that we did change uh, the background the foreground so this is the grid line the foreground right now is this so let's see the color I believe this is the dark gray so well the blue is dark gray so that's that's correct i think that i also want this to be the same red as the background so let's see what happens if we make that zero zero which is the same color oops zero zero and then we'll control s to save and then let me clear the screen up arrow yes I like that a little better I think it really stands out okay so the so the for so similarly you can get the you get the idea of inactive window uh, you can certainly change the color so the pop up style has to do with when you go on uh, virtual sc uh, screen for example there's five there's six you can change the color of those um, and the menu style uh, F12 will bring the menu you can certainly do the same interest sake we can just make that red again on two three four and then we'll make the foreground white and then control s and then go back to the LX terminal and then F12 you can see the, uh, the change of the active and you can certainly change the font uh, size here so you get the idea and control S and then restart F12 so yes but I tend not to use the menu. I find that uh, the keyboard, the combo, 
uh, is very efficient for me. So now I've went through uh, pretty much a major portion of this uh, theme file.